the only difference that will make your neighbors know that you have a husband is when a baby is born. Be wise. Leo hii tunatangaswa. Agwambo akisema fire unafanya nini? Agwambo akisema forward unatoa nini? Agwambo akisema nyuma unafanya nini? PM. Na inasema tena that consultation means concurrence. Sema concurrence. Hiyo ni kisungu kubwa. Which means agreement. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, this has been brought here today. Passion for the job. There is no passionometer. <laughs> Welcome back to Havana Media. My name is uh, Bonfisa Wino. And as usual, I'm, I'm going to be a host for today. Now, I want us to major into the camp of uh, ODM, part, ODM as a party. Not as a meal, but OZM, ODM as a party. Yesterday, there's a video that, 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 I, that I posted on... Uh, the meeting between Babu Owino and uh, Ali Hassan Joho together with Junetu Mohammed and uh, Olekina. And uh, today now I want us to, to talk about this issue of uh, the split. There is a split in uh, ODM party. Now, when Raila Moludinga decided to, to appoint or when he decided to, yeah, to approve the leadership of Ali Hassan Joho together with Weekly for Paranya in Wajia, saying that they will stand in for the gap as the as the two leaders of the of the of the party there is some there is a signal and there is something that uh, those who are keen could have, have realized that how comes Raila decides to to appoint two people to be the leaders of ODM party yet we know that a party should only have one leader there is a big question that we should ask ourselves that why did Raila decide to appoint Oparanya together with Ali Hassan Joho to be the leaders of ODM being that Ali Hassan Joho is the deputy is the deputy the, the next in line after Raila Odinga. So it means that when Raila is out, automatically Yasan Joho should be the leader of ODM party. But now the, here, here is a scenario whereby we find that Raila decides to appoint the two people to be the leaders of ODM party. Now, this is where the split comes from. On Saturday, Yasan Joho decided to meet his team. And at the same time, Oparany also decided to meet his team. So are you seeing where the difference comes from? Because, okay, for me, I knew, or maybe what I expected was that when Ali Hassan Joho, when Ali Hassan Joho decided that let, let us have a meeting, this meeting could have consisted of, of, of uh, Oparanya's team together with Ali Hassan Joho's team. Now, this team is like this. There's a team of old folks and there's a team of new folks, whereby the old folks consist of, uh, of, uh, consist of, uh, Whereby the old folks, that is, the, that is now the, the, the Oparanya's team. Oparanya's team consists of Jimmy Wanjigi, who is the party leader of Safina. I don't know where he's coming from. I don't know how he's, how he's related to, to ODM or how he's related to Oparanya. But we, we saw that they met. Now, the meeting of Oparanya consists of, uh, of Jimmy Wanjigi. It consists now the team consists of Jimmy Wanjigi, consists of Sifuna, it consists of Burodinga, it consists of Opio Wandai, of Simbarati, and there's this lady called Bosire. Now that is party that is now Oparanya's side. And now we have we also have uh, Joho's side, whereby we have we have Alias and Joe, we have uh, Babu Oweno, we have Junet Mohammed, we have got uh, John Mbadi, uh, we also have uh, uh, Olekina. You know, you know. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? ODM has split into two. Whereby we have got those who knows better, those who, because we, we have those who have been there for a while, and now we also have those who, who have just come. But now you find that those who have been here, those, those who have just come has got power more than those who have been there. Those who have just come, that is now where we have, whereby we have got people like Alias and Joho together, the bubble winner. Now, there are some of the things that I want us to look at. We know very well that Raila decided to appoint or decided to, to give chance to Alias and Joe together with the Oparanya to lead ODM party in his absence. 
without telling us who is going to be the leader of the party. Why do you think, the first question is, why do you think Raila did not appoint anybody to be the leader? Instead, he appointed two people. Why did Raila decide to appoint two people, not one? And at the same time, we find Ali Asanjo saying that so no, if ODM is going to be the, the party to give president to, to give to lead in the presidential candidate campaign and candidate is the person who is going to who is going to, to be the president. That is now the words of Joho. But there is something that we also need to understand that between Ali Asanjo and Oparanya, there is a high chances that if if uh, Joho decides to to vie for the presidency. There are a lot of, a lot, maybe a very few things that maybe might, might fail him. That uh, his absence, because, okay, this is what people will ask themselves. That immediately after the election, we, we lost years. After losing, Alias and Joha together with Junet Mohammed disappeared. We don't know where they went to. So, and then all of a sudden, when Raila is going to African Union, they're coming back. Reason best known to them and Raila Odinga, we don't know. And then after coming back, Raila is not even appointing anybody. He's appointing Joho, who was absent, and Oparanya. Are you seeing this? Raila decides to appoint, okay, Wandai has been there. Babu Win have been there. Sifuna has been there. Even though we know Sifuna is the Secretary General, they have been there. But how comes Raila decided to appoint Alias and Joho? Leaving alone, all, leaving all these people is appointing Alias and Joe and weekly for Ombeto Paranya. Why? That is the first question. Why do you think Raila decided to appoint Alias and Joho to be the party leader in his absence together with the Paranya? Yet Alias and Joho has not been there for a while. Now, I've told you that if uh, if Alias and Joho says that he's going to vie, or if Alias and Joho, the way he's saying that he's going to be the, the presidential candidate from ODM party. If he decides, there are a lot of things that people will, will look at. But the, the, the one main thing that people will look at is, where was he all this while? And why is the sudden change when he comes back? That is what people should ask them. That is, that is, what, that, that is, that is what people should, will, will be asking. Where were you? Now, I want to open our eyes here for a little. I want us to open our eyes here and uh, look this thing beyond. Now, why do you think Raila decided to appoint these two people? Not one person. I've told you there that if every party must only have one leader. And now in this case, we are seeing that ODM, ODM has got two leaders. We have, we have got Oparanya and Ali and Joho. The big question is, why do you think Raila decided to appoint these two people? On my side, eh? I want to tell you about on my side. On my side, I think that, uh, okay, Raila feels like if I single-handed, I, I made this thing by myself. Why would I give it very easily to two people? Why would I just decide to give it to a, another person? Because this is my sweat. And uh, if I, do, I make a mistake of giving it out, these people might, these people might mess it up. So it really is trying to weigh. I made this party myself. This, this ODM, I've, I've been man managing it myself. So I don't see any need. More, 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 moreover, in, who knows if, if in 2027 we'll, 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 uh, I'll still be around. And that is why, and that is why you, you hear Ayla keep on saying that uh, uh, he'll be around. Addis Ababa is just a stone throw away. That is what Raila normally say. Ra that Addis Ababa is, is only two hours flight. When you need me, I'll be there. So when you need me, it means that Raila has, has himself a space, knowing very well that there's, there will be no any other person to be the leader of the party if not him. And that is why he keeps on saying that I'm going nowhere. Baba is around. Any moment you need my help, I'll be here to help you. And I listened to I listened to him when he was uh, he, he was now saying telling the people that he alias and Joe together with Oparan will be leading. He, to, he said something that uh, I'll be there to assist these guys wherever they need my assistance. Of course, we know that you are going. Why would you say that you will be there to assist us? Why can't you just tell us that I've given, I've, 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 I've appointed this guy, this, this person to be the, the leader and this person to be the, the, the deputy? Why? So that is number one thing that we should note, that Raila knows very well that this party, I made it by my sweat. I cannot give it out very easily. And I cannot give it to anybody. And there is something that Moses Kuria talked about, uh, though that, that we'll talk about on the next video, that people think that Raila is going somewhere. And we might be surprised if Raila Odinga will be on, on the ballot in 2027, because 
AU, AU is only two years. It's not like it's going to take 10 years. It's only two years. That is 2025, 2026. Really, in the value of 2027. That is Moses Kuria was saying. But that one, we'll talk about that one on the next video. Now, there is no, we have to understand that there is no law that uh, forbids Raila from being the chairman of, uh, for being the leader of uh, ODM party. Let us look at it this way. When Raila Odinga was, uh, was, the, was the leader, was the head of infrastructure in AU, was he not the, the leader of ODM party at the same time? Did he give the position to anybody to, to control while he was away? He didn't. So there is no law that forbids Rela from being the chairman or from being, from being the, the party leader of ODM. So in as much as Rela is going to be the chairman of African Union, he's still going to be the leader, the party leader of ODM. So I don't see any big problem there that maybe forbids Rela from being the, the ODM party leader. That is something that we have to understand. In as much as we can make noise that Rela is going, some, is going uh, somewhere and uh, now party, party is, is, going, is, is going to miss him, maybe there is going to be a vacuum. There is no vacuum that is, that is going. And that is why they keep on saying that the party will be intact. There will be no vacuum in the party, whether Rela is there or not. It means that even in his absence, he will be there. He, 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 will, he will be there. Because his position... No one will stand for it. And there is something that we also need to understand that there is no one who can play a bigger role in ODM party if not Raila. That is, that is, those are some of the things that we have to understand. Now, I want us to major a little bit on, the, on this issue of uh, Jimmy Wanjigi meeting with, uh, with Oparanya. Why do you think these people met? Because on my side, I think on my side, I think their meeting was uh, was majorly based on forming a coalition. Because as we know very well that uh, uh, Jimmy Wanjigi is the is the is the party leader of, of Afina. How comes he's coming to meet weekly from Beto Paranya in in Kakamega? And they're meeting in a closed door. And then and then when when asked, there is something that uh, Jimmy Wanjigi said. When he was asked, he said that, uh, when he was asked, that, are you willing to come, to come back to ODM? He said that. This is what Jimmy Wanjiki said. Jimmy Wanjiki said that when he was asked by the media that, we've seen you with Oparanya and you've just met. What are, you, what, what are your plans? Are you, are you coming back to ODM? He said, no, I'd quit. And he was saying that I've only come, I've only come to make baby steps for a coalition, eh? I've only come to make baby steps that uh, for of a coalition that will make sure that uh, William Ruto together is a tax men are out of an office. So it means that the meeting was all about a coalition. And a coalition is going to be might be between Jimmy Wanjiki together the weekly from Beto Paranya. Because for someone to say that we are I'm here for a coalition and is meeting another person who is not from his party. They are not even related anywhere. They've never, they've never met maybe in one or two occasions. They don't do uh, things. But, you, you know, suppose it was, uh, there was a meeting between Oparanya and like the meeting of Alias and Johan and his team. That one was understandable because they were, maybe they, they, they were planning on how they'll work. But now Oparanya is meeting with the, uh, Jimmy Wanjigi, the person, a person who is not even in the, in the ODM party. And when, when, when Wanjigi is asked, he's saying that uh, I'm only here for... Uh, for for a, to, for a, to mark a babysitting, a babysitting coalition. Are you understanding? A babysitting coalition that will make sure that William Ruto together with the taxmen are out of office. So my big question is, is there a possibility of a weekly from Beto Paranya to quit from ODM to form a coalition after feeling or after maybe sensing that there is fire in the mountain? Of course, there's going to be fire on the mountain because the way Babu Wino was speaking, Babu Wino was saying that uh, they're going to sit down and talk. Here's the clip. Mbona, yes. Ah, viongozi, wakai mm. kwa meza, mm. wana, wana negotiate for us, mm. na mimi niko kwa menu, mm. ni kuliwe. Hiyo okay. meza tutaivunja. Obechaja specific, Joho. Are you, yeah. are you maybe, kuna kolabo fulani, muna panga na mzee, Joho? Yes. 
Okay. Sipo. Tunapanga mambo na jo okay. okay. na tutaambia watu hapa mbele. Okay. okay. Tunajipanga okay. na tuna, tutataka mimi nikae kwa meza, mm. Kalonza akae hapa, mm. Jo akae hapa mm. na viongozi wengine. Mm. Hata sifuna aletwe kwa meza. <laughs> eh, huyo pia ni kiongozi shupavu. Yes. Na ledama ole kina aletwe kwa meza. Yes. Na viongozi wengine ambao pia tuta nini nao yenye itakuwa na national outlook. All right. Na tutafanya kazi hivyo. Right. Mwenye ataki kusikia maneno ya babu, yes. babu atataka kusikia maneno yake. So my biggest question is this. Do you think Weekly for Better or Paranya is planning to form a coalition or an alliance with Jimmy Wanjigi? Is trying to find a way of quitting ODM? Because him meeting Jimmy Wanjigi sends a signal somewhere. And to prove this, there's this MP called the MP Mwale. When Mwale was asked, Mwale said that uh, Oparanya is free to form a coalition or an alliance with any party. He's free. He can form a coalition or an alliance with any party. And, and he's, even, uh, he's even free to, to have friends. Who can help him? Who can help him, him propel his political career? So I have a question: between Jimmy Wanjigi and Raila Molodinga, who can propel Oparanya's political career? Who can propel Weekly for Oparanya's political career? Between Jimmy Wanjigi and Raila Molodinga? No, let us not even take, talk about Raila Odinga because Raila is on another league. Let us talk about somebody like Babu Owino or Alia Sanjoho. Who is that? So there's a possibility that this guy is trying to form a coalition somewhere behind Raila's back because he's feeling like, no, these guys, these boys are going to show me fire. Now, lastly, lastly, let us look at uh, this ODM thing. Eh? Like, uh, if you want to be the party leader of ODM, there are a lot of factors that we have to consider. Number one factor that we have to consider or that will be considered is this. Are you from Nyanza? Are you a Luo from Nyanza? That is, that is number one thing that will be considered. Let, whether you like it or not, that is one of the biggest things that will be considered. Are you a Luo? Are you from Nyanza? Because uh, ODM party consists of majorly Luos and is a Luo party. Whereby you can't take someone from another. It's not about tribalism. It's just we're just trying to, 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 to think outside. It is it will be very hard to take someone from outside Luo Nyanza to come and to come and lead ODM party from the Luo area. How will they understand each other? Because sometimes Luos feel like no, this guy needs to, to speak to us in, in our own language so that the message can come home. How will uh, Alias and Joe speak Kijaluo? Or how will Weekly for Paranya speak Kijaluo? And that is why now we are coming back to the point whereby we had Mama Aida Odinga talking about uh, people like Mbadi being the ne people next to Baba's heart. Suppose ODM wants to choose the leader apart from Lele Odinga. This is just my, po my point of view. Suppose ODM will be choosing the party leader. It will be amongst these people. Number one, Babu Owino. Number two, Opio Wandai. Number three, John Mbadi. Number four, probably Gladys Wanga, but she's a woman. Number five, we have got James Orengo. Those five people are the key people that one of them will be chosen in case Raila retires or maybe because you have you had uh, you had baba wino saying that suppose baba retires from politics and he marked it very well that if raila is still in politics is still a politician in this country anything that he said there's nothing that we can do we cannot form our own alliances we cannot we cannot speak but suppose baba retires from politics and say that now i'm done with the politics baba wino assured people that he is going to be the next leader because take take for instance who has who is really who is very much famous between between babo we know uh between babo we know let us not talk about james opio and i let us talk about babo we know para nyaliasa who is very much famous amongst those people kina simbarati who now 
That one is just my view. I want to give you a chance at the comment section so that you can also tell me what you are thinking about it. And uh, until we meet again next video, my name is Boneface Owino. Bye-bye.